this video was brought to you by Literati. I'm trying to find a way where nothing is reflecting off of my glasses and it's not working. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie Wismer. I'm a freelance editor and an indie author. I have four books out right now, as you can see on the screen. Book number five is coming out August 24th and it's called The Marionettes. It's the first book in a series, vampires, witches, all that kind of stuff. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually doing a reading vlog. It's been a little while, but I'm super, super excited. We're just gonna hang out this weekend. I'm in the middle of like six books, so we got plenty to do. I also got the final versions of my covers for the Marionette series this morning. So that's what we're currently working on. I'm still drinking my morning coffee and I'm getting everything together for the cover reveal. So I'm getting like all of the images and stuff together that I wanna send to everyone who signed up to participate in the cover reveal and then I just need to pick a date. I don't know if this video will be going up by the time I did the cover reveal so maybe you've already seen it. I don't know I'm super excited to finally be able to share this with you. Pre-orders for Amazon and everything won't be available until a little bit closer to the release date but I do have a sign up form if you want to pre-order a signed copy so I'll have the link down below. Anyway welcome to the new vlog. We're just gonna hang out. I think I'm gonna end up working a fair amount this weekend just because I have so much to do but we also are gonna try and make some time to just like relax and read and whatnot. I'm reading How to Do Nothing. I actually got this book from the Literati book subscription box. Excuse how rough it looks. The entire front was covered by the shipping label so I tried to get it off so I could show you the box and this is what became of that. But they're actually kindly sponsoring today's vlog as well. What's really interesting about this book subscription box to me is not only do you have the option to choose several different books but each book belongs to a different book club. They're called Luminaries and these monthly book clubs are hosted by authors, activists, artists, just really interesting people and they pick a book each month and it's a little more interactive than other book subscription boxes because it's actually a book club. They have an app that you can follow along in. There are 12 different luminaries for you to choose from and they all focus on different themes and different genres and it shows you beneath each club what the focuses are. Like the underrated luminary hosted by Stephen Curry. This one usually focuses on inspirational, true stories, diverse perspectives, things like that. Susan Orlean's private collection is perfect if you like more lyrical books. Richard Branson's Reading with Richard does a lot of business, leadership, that kind of thing. Ellen Hildebrand's The Beach and Beyond has vacation reads. There's Cheryl Strait's book club, it's called Wild Reads. I'm assuming that's named after her book Wild. It has a lot of travel, memoir, adventure kind of stuff. And the club that I'm in is called Read Like an Artist, which is hosted by Austin Kleon. This one's really focused on creativity, ideas, innovation. Like I said, that's just a few of them. They have 12 different ones for you to to choose from and their app really is like any other social media you make profiles on there where you can interact with your book club if you want to come follow me over there i'm just the same username i am everywhere on kate's book date so you choose which book club you want to be a part of each month this is what the inside looks like obviously it comes with the book you get this little guy and then you can connect on the app you get a note from whoever is like hosting your book club and then a little guide that's specific to whatever book you're reading that month so i ended up joining the read like an artist book club that sounded right up my alley i'm really excited for this month's book how to do nothing i've actually already started it as well how to do nothing is an action plan for thinking outside of the narratives of efficiency and techno determinism provocative timely and utterly persuasive i've been really into nonfiction this year so i'm excited to read this I'll so come with a bookmark. Now this weekend while we're reading the book, I'm gonna have to download their app, which I believe is like a community so you can discuss with other people who are in your book club. You can also engage with the host of the book club and they have two membership options, the standard and the premium. So if you get the premium option, they deliver the book to you every month, you get the app access and everything. And then if you wanna do the standard option, you just bring your own book, but you still get all of the access within the app and stuff for the book club itself. The upside is if you're getting the book directly from them they have special members only pricing so you'll get the book much cheaper than you would somewhere else you can buy the books for the book club up to 60 percent off the original book's pricing which is a huge discount so yeah this will be one of the many books that we're reading this weekend i'm gonna download the app and we'll try it out together let me show you all the books that i'm in the middle of i've been good about reading actually i've been getting in the habit of reading at least 10 pages a day outside of work stuff and i read a little bit usually in the morning or before I go to bed, but because I'm in the middle of like 10 books, I haven't finished a book in forever. So I'm still reading Stein on Writing, which is a writing, editing, craft book. I'm like halfway through this one, so we're making progress with this. I'm also reading I Hope My Voice Doesn't Skip by Alicia Cook, which is poetry. We're a little bit into that one. This one is called Daily Rituals, and I literally just read two pages of this a day because it like gives you a new thing to read each day. So this is a slow going thing. I also started Collected Poems by Dylan Thomas, more poetry, 
also just at the beginning. I also started rereading Charlie Travesty by KJ Sutton and Jesse Elliott. The next installment in the serial comes out next week. Today's the 26th when I'm filming this. I think the next one comes out on the 29th of June. This is a serial if you're not familiar with it and I really really enjoyed this last year so I wanted to kind of just reread it for the latest installment comes out. It has been a while. Um, this has vampires and such in it. But right now I think I'm going to actually post my cover for the marionettes early in my Patreon page because I'm impatient and I just want to share it with someone. I've been wanting to share it with someone for months. Um, I'm still getting together everything for the people who signed up to participate in the cover reveal. I'm trying to think strategically and not just like immediately jump into it like I always do but I'm so excited and I just want to share it <laughs> and I don't see any downside at this point to just sharing it pretty soon. I'm gonna finish up with this, then we'll go get some lunch, then we're gonna go hang out on the couch and start reading. Okay, so here's the app. Apparently there's also a kids version too. I'm also posting the marionettes cover on Patreon now. So here are all of your different options with the book clubs. And these are the hosts for the different clubs. Now we gotta find where's mine. Here it is, this one's mine. So here are your price options. If you do an annual, it's a little bit cheaper than if you want to do it monthly. That's for premium. And so this is for standard, and I guess they have a trial for 99 cents. So here in the app, you can see you have a ton of different navigation options and places to go. There's a note from the author, and basically some highlights from the book and what you can expect and why it's worth reading. You can see who else is reading it on the app. They have a discussion question. I love that this is the discussion question. <laughs> What's the most peaceful day you've had recently? If you've been around on the channel for a while, we ask this question in the vlogs a lot just to discuss in the comments. I love hearing about good things that have happened to people. Then you can scroll through everyone's responses. You can reply, you can like, you can obviously leave your own comment. And then if you go over to the separate discussion tab, you can see the discussion boards are broken up by chapters. So I feel like this would be more helpful if you're reading a novel so you don't get spoiled but also with nonfiction, I think it's nice that you can jump in wherever you're at in the book and see what people were thinking at that time and you can see in the discussion boards even the hosts of the book club they're participating in here and you can comment on their posts and interact with them which I think is just really unique to have access to these influential people that way as well as building a community and talking with other readers in the book club. Hello, it's now a little after four o'clock. I just finished my workout. I did back and biceps and just finished it off with a little bit of cardio. I tried to make the most of when it was sunny this morning, now it's raining. So we're gonna start making dinner. Welcome to Lazy Cooking with Katie. I managed to get a good chunk of my book read too while I was sitting outside with Dean. He loves to just sit out on the balcony with me, it's really cute. So here's my go-to lazy dinner. Preheat your oven. Don't pay attention to my outfit. Sheet pan tofu, sweet potatoes, broccoli. Put on pan, cook together in oven. That's it, season accordingly. Olive oil, that's the dinner. We finished up with dinner. Are you coming up or not? Come here, come here. It's just staring at me. It's 5.45, I'm gonna wait. We're gonna like get ready for bed, have like a self care night and read tonight a little bit later. I'm gonna do some skincare, all of that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, Dean and I are gonna sit here and <laughs> I don't know if you've been around since my parents moved, but basically when they moved out of my like childhood house, they found all of our old stuff from when we were kids, like the Wii and all of the old games and stuff. And instead of letting them get rid of them, I took them. So now I have this Harry Potter GameCube game from 2002 <laughs> that my brother and I used to play. I think I've played it one other time since I took it from them, like, when did they move? Was that like a year ago now? I don't know. But we're gonna play this for a while and just kind of hang out. But I did bring my books back, so we'll get to that later. Monday. I thought I would just continue the vlog today. Yesterday I 
I just didn't vlog. I had a good day yesterday. It was super productive, but I just like didn't have the energy to vlog. But anyway, this morning I was working on editing client stuff. It's now 1030 and now I'm finishing getting all of this stuff ready for the marionettes cover reveal. So I'm going to send out the email to everyone who signed up this morning. The cover reveal is officially going to be July 1st, which is this Thursday. And I'm very excited about that. I got a lot of reading done over the weekend. So I'll update you on my books and stuff a little bit later, but I just wanted to film this clip because I realized I don't think I filmed a single clip yesterday. Hi, my camera's dying. I'm gonna make a really quick update. I was just filming our second self-publishing 101 video for the month all about getting your book into book subscription boxes. So I'm gonna go charge my camera now and we're gonna get back to work. It's about three o'clock. I've been working on editing client stuff all morning. So I think we're gonna switch over and work on the marionettes now. Hello, I'm updating you on the old camera because I had a bit of a crisis. Literally, I was panicking. I was trying to get... Okay, so the first thing about this camera is you can't take out the memory card or the battery if it's on a tripod, it stops that thing from opening. So I always have to take it off the tripod to take anything out. And the tripod was stuck. I couldn't get it off. So I couldn't take out the battery to charge it. And I couldn't take out the memory card, which had a lot of important clips on it that I need to edit. So I'm sitting here fighting with this stupid thing. I almost broke my hand getting it off. And I don't even know if you can see how beat up the... I don't know what happened. But this is like destroyed around here now. Like metal like shavings came off when I finally got it off. I don't know. So I was sitting here panicking for at least like 20 minutes trying to get this off. Like, what am I going to do? I have to get this video done for this brand by this date. So I have to get the memory card out. And if I can't charge it, I can't keep vlogging. I can't finish the video. Like, what am I going to do? Stress. Oh, we got it out. I'm not putting it back on. <laughs> anyway, on a calmer note, I wanted to update you on all of the books I've been reading. I think I showed you like six at the beginning of the video. I've made progress in three. So we're going to talk about these three. This daily ritual thing. I don't, I think I still recommend it on TikTok. And I just read one before I go to bed at night and I'm actually really enjoying it. So I would recommend it. If you're into like affirmations and like, that kind of stuff it basically gives you like an affirmation at the beginning a definition of it like it kind of expands on it then it gives you an exercise to do that day and then it basically gives you a prompt for you to journal about that day so i've been enjoying this i've been also reading this poetry book by alicia cook i hope my voice doesn't skip i read her first book a couple of years ago stuff i've been feeling lately and i loved that at the time so i thought this was gonna be a hit for me for sure and i'm now 46 pages in so we've read this much and i'm really disappointed that um, pretty much nothing in this book is connecting with me. Nothing of it's really hitting home for me, which is surprising. I was really expecting to like this. And it's not that I dislike it, but I just, I'm not really connecting with it at all. So this has been disappointing. I'm going to finish it, but I don't know if it's the mood that I've been in while reading it or if it's the book and I've just like grown past her style of poetry, but I haven't been impressed, unfortunately. However, then we get to how to do nothing. I took the dust cover off a while ago and we're now this far in. Again, this is something I just read like 10 pages to a chapter each night and I'm really enjoying consuming it at a slower pace. I like to do that more with nonfiction. This is gonna sound super cheesy, but like ironically enough, I feel like my lack of vlogging this weekend and everything. This, what this book has been talking about just fits so perfectly with what I've been doing in my life lately, where I've just been trying to slow down and listen to myself and listen to my body and just kind of exist and do things that I want to do in the moment without there being a set goal or motivation in mind without trying to be productive all the time. And there was this one metaphor in here that just like really stuck out to me as like the perfect description of it. It was talking about how, you know, how in cities and stuff, there's this constant like power struggle, like battle of people wanting to knock down or pave over things that aren't seen as like commercially beneficial. So if there's like a park or a monument or something that doesn't have commercial value, it doesn't turn a profit. It's just beautiful and it's nature. A lot of corporations want to pave over that and put a mall there or put some condos there and just like make money out of it basically because they don't really see the value in what's originally there. And so the author was making this comparison to our time and how we see our like nature time of just existing and doing things we enjoy and like leisure, just not really doing anything. That time is always at risk of being bulldozed and have something built there that's more productive and turns a profit and is more beneficial. And I just thought that was a really interesting comparison because I definitely find myself to be guilty of that because in the past few years all of the things that used to make up my free time all of my things that used to be my hobbies and that were just for fun 
every single one of them has turned into my job. On the one hand, it's a blessing. Like how freaking cool is it that the things that I love to do turned into my job? But also I now no longer have any hobbies because all of my hobbies are now my job. I used to read for fun. I used to make YouTube videos for fun. I used to write for fun. Now all of those, that's my job. So now what do I do for fun that's not monetized? And so this is kind of something that I've been working through on my own for months, trying to figure out a better balance in my life. And you know, what do I like to do for fun? And what do I enjoy that doesn't have any monetary return. So um, yeah, I didn't vlog, all of this is to say, I didn't vlog yesterday, but I had a fabulous day. I just kind of did my own thing and just took it easy. I actually got a lot done yesterday. I just didn't really feel the need to document it and vlog it and put it on the internet. Another thing that they're talking about in here is even the things that we're doing for fun and in our leisure, we post on social media and then they automatically get turned into some kind of numerical worth with how many likes did we get? How many shares did we get? How many views did we get? So I'm really, really enjoying this book. I'm finding it very, very relevant for my current situation and my life right now. So that's the updates. Um, it's 3.40 and I'm just gonna work on the marionettes for a while. I've been enjoying working on that. I think I told you guys this, the cover reveal for the marionettes is officially gonna be Thursday of this week. So I'm really looking forward to that. I sent the email out to everyone who signed up to participate this morning and I got some feedback back of everyone being like, oh, I really like the cover. I shared it with my people over on Patreon the other day too. So quite a few people have seen it at this point, but I am very excited to share it with everyone. With that said, because that's happening on Thursday, I need to get everything ready before then. I already have my social media posts made, but I filmed the video that's gonna go on my channel a while ago, but there's quite a few things missing that I wanna fix now, or just like film a second piece and add them in there, everything I forgot to say. So I need to get that video ready before Thursday. But other than that, we're getting super close to the release for less than two months away now, which is kind of crazy. And I'm so excited. I've had this cover for a while, or at least like the concept of it. So I'm very excited to finally be able to share it and update it everywhere online. So yeah, I will update you later. Hey guys. So excuse my hair, I just got out of the shower. But I realized the other day I didn't get, this is a new day also. Uh, I realized the other day, this isn't gonna focus on my face. There we go. I didn't get to show you as much about the app and the book club as I wanted to. So in case you're interested in joining one of the book clubs and you wanna see kind of what it's like on the inside of the app, I'm gonna put a screen recording up here so you can just kind of get a look inside. I was just kind of playing around with it this morning and exploring and I like that they have different discussion boards. Like they have one that you can go into if you haven't started yet. And as you can see in here, the host of the book club is actually very active in the discussion boards and he's been posting a lot too. And just through I'm only through like chapter three of the book, so I can only go in the first two discussion boards. But what I found refreshing and interesting as I was scrolling through, as you can see, pretty wide variety of opinions in there. I feel like a lot of the times with book clubs, you feel kind of like pressured to like the book. And what I found refreshing again in these discussion boards is you see people who are like, mm, I'm not really loving this, anyone else? I'm personally really liking the book, but I like seeing like actual discussions happening in there. They also have this little, like tracker you can say that you've started reading and you can track how far you are in the book. So I just wanted to show you a little bit more about what the app was like. I'm actually gonna end the vlog here. It's a Tuesday afternoon, so we're like randomly in the middle of the week. With the marionettes release coming up, I'm like head in the sand working on release week stuff and my editing clients, same as usual. So thanks so much for hanging out with me for this weekend vlog. I'll have links down below in the description. If you wanna join one of the book clubs, if you wanna pre-order a signed copy of the marionettes, all of that kind of stuff and more. Check the description. If you're new here, maybe subscribe and stick around. I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below. I love interacting with you guys so it doesn't feel like I'm just shouting into a void. I can put faces and names to people who watch. Yeah, it's gonna be it for the video. See you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye. No.